What's an innovator? It's someone who works on new and creative ideas to change the world. Can you think of a few? When I think of innovators, I usually think of the greats. Thomas Edison, the Wright brothers, maybe even Steve Jobs. You know, inventors, like me. But science and technology aren't the only places where the world needs innovators. Launching a global movement like the Salvation Army took tons of innovation, new ideas that no one had ever tried before, just to make a mark for good on the world. The Salvation Army's history is full of innovations. Since the beginning, our soldiers and officers were on a mission to show God's love in new ways that really impacted people's lives. In another lesson, we talked about lights in darkest England. Making matches was big business for London in the 1800s, but most of the factories had terrible pay and conditions that made people sick. Booth and the early army volunteers raised money to open their own factory, one that treated workers well. At the same time, they fought for new laws that would protect workers. They knew that God cared about people that were getting hurt by powerful, unjust systems. But that was just the beginning. Another army innovation is disaster relief. When storms, fires, or earthquakes hit, the Salvation Army is on the ground with food trucks. Like our own mobile command unit, helping people who sometimes have lost everything. The Army knows that people struck by disaster are super vulnerable, and that God calls us to minister to them at especially those times. Remember, whatever we do for the least of these, we do for Jesus. You know, sometimes those disasters are man-made. The early Salvation Army made a name for itself by reaching out to soldiers in wartime. During World War I, the Salvation Army sent loads of soldiers right to the front we're best known for our donut girls, but they were also mending clothes, writing letters home to soldiers' families, and preparing meals. Today, the Salvation Army innovates by looking even further for people who are suffering and need help. Sometimes those people are victims of horrible acts by other people, sold into modern day slavery. This is called human trafficking, and the Army is in countries all over the world working to discover it, end it, and rescue the people that can't escape. Because at the end of the day, the Salvation Army is about people, the people that God loves and who we're called to serve. If the people you love were hurting or alone, wouldn't you try to think of every possible way to save them? Wouldn't you reach for the things that no one's ever tried before? That's what the Army's about, pushing the limits on what's been done and what's expected, to find innovative ways to show the world the love of Jesus.